We are going to celebrate the land that we live on. It's the 51st celebration of Earth Day. And here on Delmarva, that means you can enjoy the best our land has to offer. We're talking about the Delaware Botanic Gardens in Dagsboro. Ray Sander is the president of DBG and joins us via Zoom this afternoon. How are you, Ray? We're well, great, Lisa. Thank you so much. Okay, so you guys, this is such a great idea. You're offering free well, mission with a donation to the Food Bank of Delaware. Tell us about that. The Food Bank of Delaware has done such a great job, and we just wanted to help, and we thought, what a great way of connecting Earth Day, the Delaware Botanic Gardens, and the, the Food Bank of Delaware. And just, just for a, a change of some non-perishable food, you can be our guest and see one of America's newest public gardens and the first public garden here in Southern Delaware. That sounds great. So Ray, let me ask you, you, you mentioned non-perishable. Is there anything in particular they're looking for or, or is it just generally non-perishable? Yes, there is. Uh, their priority lists are hot and cold cereals, peanut butter, canned fruits, canned meats, shelf stable milk, canned vegetables and good old spaghetti sauce. Yes. Oh, and, and, and you said it. This is a great way uh, to enjoy one of America's newest public gardens and help those in need. Now, we still are in a pandemic, so COVID-19 restrictions are still in place. You can't just show up, can you? Absolutely. We're asking people to uh, wear their masks and to do the social distancing. And uh, we have reservation systems so that people can make a reservation so people aren't all grouped up at one time. So we ask you to go on our website, DelawareGardens.org, and just make a reservation for a time and the number of people you're coming. And uh, we can uh, we can accommodate everybody uh, during those hours of 9 to 1 on April 22nd. So, Ray, we've, uh, quite honestly, been kind of keeping an eye on the gardens and see what's going on there. These gardens yeah. are ever-evolving, aren't they? The gardens cannot stay the same. You have to keep tending them and keep growing them, and we have done that. We've added the Rhine Garden in the entry, uh, in our entry gardens. We have a, a wonderful living shoreline project, which is saving 300 feet of our, our waterfront on Pepper Creek. And we've added an observation deck, so you can really see the beauty of that waterfront. And it really observe, observe the uh, the wildlife and the, and the birds in a um, unobstructed way. Ray, you must have the best job in the world because I know sometimes <laughs> when, when work g gets caught up with me, I like to just go outside, take in some fresh air, maybe walk around the building or whatever. You have <laughs> the best place to walk that around, is his don't job. you? <laughs> I, am, I am honored. I am honored not only to have this, this wonderful site, but to work with some wonderful people who've been devoting their, their hours and their lives for the last several years to making this project Ago. Are there any future plans that you can share with us? We're in the midst of now uh, maybe being 10 weeks away from having permanent bathrooms, which is a major accomplishment for us. We've been using porta potties, which have been great, but but not everyone uh, likes to use those when they uh, when they visit the garden. So we're, we're creating uh, permanent uh, public restrooms, and uh, we're starting on a a major pavilion project, which will give us a indoor space so that uh, in case of rain or, or inclement weather, we can continue our programming, but do it indoors. That sounds wonderful. Okay, Earth Day is Thursday the 22nd. Uh, you need to register so that you can uh, get into the gardens with a can of non-perishable food. Ray Sander, president of Delaware Botanic Gardens, thank you so much. Good afternoon, friends. Thank you so much for sh showing us. Take care. <laughs> you too.